Hello everyone, you're on Tony's Witchy Arts and Crafts, and I'm Tony. Hi, hello. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, this is a quick little Dollar Tree haul and one magazine that I got from my local grocery store. So, I had physical therapy this morning, so I wanted to go to Dollar Tree afterwards because I had a $5 gift card that I won from um, Mr. Gold Misty here on YouTube. So I wanted to go spend that. So I went to a different Dollar Tree than I did last time just to see what Halloween stuff they had out. And this one is a bigger store and it looks like they were rearranging um, because my art section was moved around. I was like, where did it go? You know, it was on the other side of the aisle pretty much. But they had some Halloween stuff out and it looked like they just got a whole bunch of Halloween boxes they need to unpack. So I might check back at that location here in a few days. But I just wanted to show you what I got. Mm -hmm. So I it was a five dollar gift card that I got, but I went I went over so I had to pay a little extra. So let me pull everything out of my bag here. Sorry for the crinkling. Okay, okay hold on. Alright, this first item was in the school section. Okay, this is really pretty. It's on a ring and I think I'm not sure what this is supposed to be for. You guys will have to let me know. But it's just I mean it's extremely simple. I probably could have made this. <laughs> but I don't know. I look oh how cute. What if what if I did little artworks on them. Little hand drawn artworks. But I really don't want to use it for notes. I want to be able to write, you know, draw something on it and save it because I think it's so cute. There's a lot of sheets in there. It doesn't say um, oh yeah, okay, so a hundred sheets. So how cool is that? do like a little little shorts little short videos shown hey, I thought that was cute and then right next to that was these little thumbnail sticky notes I guess what they're called but again I thought the packaging was really pretty Let's open this. This is 200 sheets here. What is that? Is that? This moon. moon. I like the moon and crystals. That's cool. I like the inside. So, you know, when I was doing junk journals, I probably would have used these a lot. But now that I'm not doing them, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can make some kind of embellishment out of them or something. Um, I do have books that I'm reading and like to mark pages, so maybe I'll use that for these two. But I thought they were really cute. You know. You know, one of that purchase, like, oh, that's adorable. Okay, so I did get myself some more wooden witch hats. So I did get some of those, because I like to, like, paint and decorate and embellish. And eight pieces. I was like, eight pieces in there. So I got those. And then they have these. I wish... I had found these before I sent off Misty's swap. 
These would have been perfect, too. These in the box. These are skulls. But you can easily, like, if you're making a wreath for your door, you can glue these in your wreath. Or maybe if you're, let me see, um, you know how people are making those pens that you can stick one of those in there on your pen. How you can even, they're so light because they're just foam, so maybe you can make earrings out of them too for Halloween. Have some big skulls hanging from the ears. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought they were super cool, so I got those. And then I got these, they're not really black, but they're more like that silvery black. Does that make sense? Like you get 16 pieces in here. So they're, these would be good for Halloween swaps. You can either just throw them in your swap for Halloween, do a boo mail, or you can make embellishments out of them. I, mean, I feel like they're quite tiny, I mean, just in the palm of my hand. There's my ruler. I can measure these. So, let's do on the side. So about one inch. Yeah, so from the side, one inch. In the front, one inch, and then like um, about an inch and a half from the top of his head to the bottom of his jaw. But then it's different than the back. So, one inch, right? yeah. So, super cool. And uh, just keep aware they do, they have a lot of fallout. But, you know, I love glitter, so I love... My husband doesn't like it so much, but I do. <laughs> so, I'm already up to, like, that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's five items right there, so here's six. Right? I got some stickers, because I didn't see these the first time. Or if I did, I missed them. I just thought the kitty and the witch. Yeah, it's very witchy, so I liked it. <laughs> Thank you. My steer kind of got all bent up in my bag, though. The man working at the cashier, he was rough putting everything in the bag. So let me take that. All right. So I had to pay a little out of pocket. But that's okay. Very shimmery, or very glittery, shimmery, iridescent. So cute. Oh, of course, there's my spiders. Yay! <laughs> but I thought that one was very cute. So that's all I got from Dollar Tree. And then I had to, after Dollar Tree, I went to my grocery store because I had to pick up some medicine for my husband and grab some for lunch. And of course I always have to look in the magazine section. Let's see. Can I fit it in frame? So this is um, the Traveler's Guide to the Cursed and Creepy Destinations. Which I thought was so cool. Uh, looks like over a hundred haunted places. Um, travelers beware. You are in for a... I don't know. My, my brain's not reading that word now. I mean, I was doing fine and then... <laughs> um, but it... it shows haunted places and like talks about folktale, black magic, ghost, UFOs, cryptics. cryptics. So 
I saw I saw the like spooky cover and I was like, ooh. After I'm done reading it and checking out all the haunted places, like I can use it in my collaging because there's like little tiny photos too. So I thought that was cool. So I'll slowly move it across the camera. You have to push pause. This is everything that they're showing in this magazine. And then there's more over here. And again, there's a lot of like creepy and old abandoned houses and caves. I used to, when I was younger, I used to like, I like to go cave hunting. Go, go check out caves. We got a lot here in Idaho, a lot of caves. So I've been to quite a few. But yeah, there's all kinds of cool pictures I can cut out after I'm done reading this. Oh, I like this one. So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you guys should check out this magazine if you can. So, I was just going to do a quick flip through. I'm not going to read any of the articles quite yet. But, you can see there's a lot of good imagery in here, too, with the stories. Um, we have here in Idaho, here real close to Boise, Idaho, it's like on the outskirts of Boise, we have a prison called the Old Penitentiary. It's shut down now, but it was on um, that TV show Ghost Hunters. It was on Ghost Hunters, and they, they labeled it as one of the most scariest places to visit. I took my daughter there once. She didn't like it. <laughs> so, I don't think that's in this magazine, though. And they do have, there's that one hotel. That's been used in a few movies before. And then, um, this hotel that's out in the mountains. It's been used in a Stephen King movie. The Shining? I think that's the one. So yeah, they have a very um, popular destinations in this one. So yeah, I, fi I find it very fascinating. Oh, they've got some castles in here. So it's not just um, stuff here in the U.S., it's probably worldwide type destination stuff here. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, who would like to hear one of the stories in here? Let me know. I'm not a very good reader, but maybe, maybe I can get my husband to read one on camera. <laughs> make my husband make an appearance. He's actually a good reader. He He's read several books to me. And, um, he should be one of those voice, um, book voiceovers or whatever they're called. He's got a good voice for reading. <coughs> No, that's not it. Okay, that's a different prison. So 
Yeah, they do have some prisons in here, but it's not. That's not the one here in Idaho. Well, that one's been used in a few movies as well. Graveyards. Good imagery in here I can use in junk journaling or art journaling. Here's uh, the hunt for Bigfoot in the U.S. Interesting. So not just, like I said at the beginning, not just uh, haunted places, but um, I think they, there was one piece where it said they were talking about witchcraft a little bit too, and um, what else? UFOs, cryptic, so they talk about Bigfoot in here, um, sightings, more popular sightings. I've actually seen one of those in real life. We have a building downtown. It's like a science building and they have some really weird things on display inside their building so you can take a tour of it. So yeah, I recommend that you guys go check this magazine out if you're curious on maybe some vacation travel. <laughs> if there's one close to my state, maybe I'll get my daughter to take me <laughs> to one. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, all I've been doing behind the scenes lately is still working on Christmas cards. I am making my daughter's um, guest book slash wedding album. Um, and then in between doing all that, I'm working on a junk journal, well not really a junk journal, just a journal that, here I'll show you guys, hold on, and I'm working on this, pretty pretty, <laughs> so this is going to hold um, the 31 pages, um, for my uh, ATCs. Uh, my brain just went blank. <laughs> it's been a long day for you guys. So I've got all my pages. Um, I had to Frankenstein some of them together because um, this was longer across and shorter. Really. And so the papers, I couldn't get them to fold quite how I wanted it, because it, yeah, so I had to Frankenstein some pages together. <laughs> but by the time I've colored the pages and add decorations on, it's going to be okay. And what these pages are going to be is, um, they're going to have a pocket here and a pocket here, and so um, day one of both prompts I'll be doing, um, each ATC card will have a pocket and I'll do that for every single day so there will be pockets on the back and the front. And Does that make sense? So I'm pretty much making a journal book for all the ATCs I will be doing in October for my October challenge. <laughs> but I'll be making another video talking about it on Saturday morning. Uh, I'll go over all my rules again and just give you an update and I'll probably do that every few weeks all the way up until October just so the word gets out, people are reminded, yeah, stuff like that. Mm. Alright, now that's all I got for you. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in and watching me. Bye.